Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and take a look at that. Look at those mammoths in the background there. That looks absolutely amazing. We're back with SimCity, Cities of Tomorrow. The game that I really, I really love the look of. I am, there's all this game, even SimCity and different genres. We have the Thrones of Britannia. Games that, they're pretty, they look good, they have good things about them. Maybe this is why, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to make a YouTube channel and play all these games. Uh, somehow I, I am all tolerant of games I've been throughout my life, but it's probably also, um, maybe it's not always the best advice to listen to me, for example. Because at the same time I can understand the value of uh, spending your money and getting your uh, money's worth back and not have to suffer through. At the release of this game, it definitely was a problem and I, I, I can fully understand why people were angry about uh, not getting uh, to play it even with the servers down. But look, if only they had a better reputation if somehow the maybe it was EA maybe it was Maxis I'm not sure I'm guessing EA as a publisher pulled the strings but if they would have stayed and maybe invested more into these mechanics and a way to expand this further in I think this would have been a wonderful game long term and it still is now but it has these problems with traffic with one way in and out and no way to push your traffic through different directions so yeah but hopefully at some point uh, we'll get another game that we can enjoy with still a sim city maybe but we'll see let's get back into the game for now so we're working for now on getting some transport some alternative transport from one city to the other like i am thinking of Away. Ooh, we have opened now university. So, given that we have university, is this the right moment to place a university here? How much money are we making? We're making almost 5700 per month. This will allow us to add the university, but let's check our other facilities. So we have a lot of power. We we have okay we're okay on water we're okay on sewage probably going another level on it wouldn't be that bad let's see what do they want here he wants an eiffel tower i think no thank you let's see university yes and it's going to give us forty thousand if we're gonna make a university and make a dormitory from what i understand dormitories are used to give you from the start a bunch of students. Modern industry develops in the city, less smelly than the old fashioned factories, and new modern industry provides jobs to the city. Let's see. Oh, it is here. Another one. Well done. So, technology in the area is really making an uh, impact. Fires were okay on the medics I guess we could add in another truck maybe we shall be seeing soon if we really need it the police is doing an okay job the city is quite large and has different ways they have to go through so maybe we will need one more one more police uh, police car. Other than that, yeah, I think we're mostly okay. I would add a train first. I feel that one important part here is getting this train as an alternative for uh, for this entrance into the city. Not sure a plane would be good. Should I leave this, this space is open maybe? 
if, if I'm looking here and I'm taking a look at the industrial map, okay, so these businesses are going quite far pretty soon. Okay. What did they build here in this empty spot? Just a bit of a leftover? Okay, so... With that being said, I guess it is time that we get ourselves a university here. I'm gonna leave space for industry. I could even place place it here, but I want to leave some space open. We might build something like a uh, commercial area in here. There are a lot of people who would be coming by. This will take most of our resources. Let's see, what can we research? Because this is the cool thing about university. You can research different things. We need different schools. Clean coal generator. Clean oil generator, surgical center, detective wing, space center, great work. Well, we don't need this much into the research. But I was looking for that building that provides us with upgrades to the firehouse for the hazmat fires. Maybe we just need universities in the area. We'll be taking a look back at our other city, probably in the next episode, if all things go well. Yeah, so... Shall we get ourselves one of these... Where is it? This, a bus terminal. A terminal for a longer municipal and regional buses. Low and medium wealth sims can drive here before taking the bus. Municipal buses can pick up and drop off seams inside the city as well as at the neighboring cities with bus stops or shelters. Regional buses can drop off and pick up tourists here. So we can add one of these around here maybe. And what I used to do in the past is that I will build one of these in most cities but then you get a many 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 buses. I don't think you need all of them. I think it is enough to build one of them and then maybe plop down one of these park and ride and you'll be uh, taken care of by this bus state terminal. We will have to test that out, I am not fully sure of the theory. Okay, we have a bigger demand for medium and high wealth residents, some medium wealth commercial. So I would like to focus now on getting some bigger roads. Here we are, medium density. We... can we... shall we build here a high density? Let's see. These are the low wealth ones and I think we're okay with the low wealth for the moment. These are medium wealth, but they will need more time to develop into the high wealth they need. Here they've upgraded as well. Once again, they need time. And here, here they will need the next level road. They're very close. I guess we can go this in this direction. Let's upgrade these to the next level. And we're gonna fo focus later on on modernizing them. There is a pretty good possibility that once we get Omega into the city, they will be able to modernize the street. I guess it's time to spend some money into utilities. Let's place one of these here. Sewage first of all, then we'll add the water, and then we'll probably need more power. Let's see, how much does it cost for us? place in one of these. 30,000. And I will be speeding this up. 
Let's see if we can throw in a dormitory. 14,000 we'll need for an extra dormitory. And we don't have a high school yet either. So we jumped a few classes, I could say. Then what we'll do for the moment, we'll, we'll just sit still, collect some money. I'm taking a look in these areas, let's see. Okay, so our demand for the higher... Uh, is this the edge of the map? Yeah, so that's why there's nothing here. But the demand seems to be going down slightly, because they've built this one. Okay. Look at this house. I think I would like to live in one of these. Something with some grass on it. Maybe I would have like I would like to live in one in something smaller. I'm not sure that one of these mansion it would be something that would appeal to me. I think one of these more medium wealth houses. Not enough room to increase density. I think we're at the edge, right? Yeah. So there's not much we can do about that. People coming in through the stray station? 150 free per day. Probably adding a bus stop here will help because they have to walk. Okay, our rich area is growing. Medium wealth area is still staying still. If I'm gonna take a look at one of these elite mega towers, 245,000, that is a lot. The good thing is, even plopping these will not change our playstyle because I thought. Before, I thought that these towers would be already Omega, but you saw that we have a mission there to sell Omega into these towers and convert them to Omega. So they don't belong yet to the Omega businesses. Look at this. With boxes moving here and there. There's a lot of detail here, whoever made these really had an eye for, had an eye for attention, but um, I don't know, for, for giving it personality, I think it had an eye for giving it personality. I've seen creation like this, if I, if I was to say, um, bring in City Skylines into discussion, I've seen building like this made better by the mods uh, than the developers at least early on i haven't been playing it in a very long time uh, there was a, a weekend or something where i played it where i could delve deep into it um, and maybe i didn't have enough time to pay close attention to the game itself but there you we have it it's i i feel like there's there's a bit more here than it is in Sky City Skylines, or at least than it was when when I first played it. Maybe the buildings are bigger. In City Skylines, the areas are slightly... Um, maybe you play f further than generally speaking. Hmm. What do you think? L let me ask you this question, See if you love these types of games. Like, do you feel like these buildings that we have here in SimCity, like the way they look and stuff, have a bit more, maybe personality, maybe charm, maybe it's because they're bigger, or is City Skylines the one that has, mm, or the City Skylines also has buildings, but maybe the reason, if maybe you have an idea of, on the reason why I feel this way, why I feel like these buildings look better. Then you see these skylines? Fire blazes out of control. Could it be your house? More at 11. 
Okay, well, we'll need a... Industrial demand is going down. We need plenty of medium wealth workers. Um, this could be very useful in our current situation to get some workers. So I guess I'm going to wait. But I think I will be placing it here on the highway. I'm gonna wait until we have enough money to plop down one of those towers. Let's see, medium... I don't know if we need this street anymore. We already have high streets here, so it's just a matter of density to get this to the next level. Electricity, we're okay. We're not great. We haven't built anything on water just yet, so... We'll need to place one now. It's not the best production of water, but you, you can see that it's slowly starting to, um, to expand. The treated sewage brings back water, so we'll be producing more in time. Or we will be importing, we'll have to see. Let's bring in some more electricity as well. And we're gonna go for what is most efficient right now. There we have it. If Since we have the money, let's get this 14,000... ...dormitory, because this will offer us more people at the university. And it's also going to give us our money back. If we plop a mega tower or an elite mega tower, we'll get 18,000 as a reward. And the high school, the high school, I feel like it's not totally worth right now. Our tech level is growing slowly. Mm, nuclear power, do we want? I don't think so. How far can we go f behind the mountain? Because when we have enough tech, I'm thinking maybe even building a road here, putting a few more industrial buildings. Or we could try another expansion here. Go with a different road. Maybe somewhere like so and add a few more industrial buildings. Could be an idea. Maybe go with a highway just so we ensure we have the right amount of traffic here. You know what, I think we need something to section the area, so we'll do this. Good. Just like that. What do you want now? The mayor or administrative clerks are working overtime examining all the application. The university is a great success, let's just make sure we use the university to its fullest. I'm getting tearful just thinking about those fresh university graduates. Have 25 more students enrolled in higher education, have 25 more students graduate from higher education. So this mission is just a matter of time, that is really nice. The high wealth keep expanding like look at these look at these buildings the buildings of tomorrow right oh we've already completed that mission let's see what is this getting this is building archaeology sure we will at some point 118,000 We can also start building an academy, but we will need a lot of medium and high wealth people, so getting this elite mega tower is going to be very useful. And bringing Omega into the city is going to be perfect. 
High tech industry develops in the city. Smart teams develop new technologies to make their lives easier. Fireworks fun? Sure, let's try this out. Hopefully not a lot of buildings will burn. Hey, there's a fire there. We'll see if we can make this mission, it doesn't matter if we don't, but we'll get a bunch of money if we do. Look at this. The roads here are starting to have a bit of a problem. Plenty of people coming from the outside. Omega Capital City's firefighters volunteer to help. Okay, that's awesome. Ah, we failed that mission. Too many fires. Well, what can you do? We'll just build one of these super mega towers. Now I wonder a bit of a an evil kind of thing to wonder about, but do elite mega do mega towers catch fire? Perfect. We have enough money, and we're gonna place it on the highway. Well, how should we place it? Shall we bring it like here, for example? Shall we start it from here, or shall we bring it somewhere like so? I think either way works, but let's place the building, um, yeah, close to to the other rich structures. That looks pretty cool. We'll build a road behind it as well, maybe it's going to act as an exit for the people. I am not sure. Doesn't really look like it. So they do have some sort of exit here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do another road then, like so. Maybe people from here will want to go the other way. And there we have it, our first mega structure. This one has what? Apartment for the medium wealthy. We can go for the high wealth, malls, offices, education level. We don't need that in this city. Parks could be useful. Sky bridge, uh, safety level. Requires Omega Co drones. Okay, waste reduction. Fusion reactor level and at the crowns Mark 6 air scrubber Gen 6 solar power elite tourism hologram advertising crown this one does what boost mall and office level profits and biodome park okay so we have ourselves a one of these huge buildings Apparently our demand has gone up for all types of workers. Anything to research here? Let's see, maybe... How do we unlock this? Oh, this is from the Academy. Let's end for the moment... Let's add a bus terminal actually before we think of anything else and I'm gonna place it maybe around here near the police station maybe we'll draw, draw a road let's have one of these roads oh 
something like this. And here we'll be adding one of these bus stations. Park and ride, this could be good at the entrance of the city because people will be parking their car and taking the bus. And we can add a few bus stops, like so, so, and we're gonna go somewhere here as well. And finally, one of them here. And probably somewhere around these schools and work areas. That should be it for now. A race from the sun. No, thank you. We have enough coal where we don't need solar power plants. So says every politician today, today right? Department of Safety, we have. Department of Finance, we do have one. Department of Tourism, we do not have. Department of Utilities, I guess we'll add uh, one of these. Just so we have all the buildings unlocked. And go nuclear, apparently I cannot cancel the mission from there. But I think we need water for nuclear power plants, so we'll not place that, we don't have the space here. Our waste disposal, uh, we're almost at the limit to, with our ability to collect, so I'm gonna place another one there. Fires were okay earlier, deaths per day went down, crime is okay, students enrolled, well, definitely need a building here, uh, not a building. A bus stop. Let's have ourselves a high school as well. Shall I be placing it closer here? It does increase medium wealth. Or m medium... Um, yeah, land value. Could even place it here. Or here. Yeah, this is it's a good place as any. We've been working in the area, so let's add one of these. There we have it. Making a really good educational town. Well, Mayor, our fair city has a beautiful university with many eager young minds. Vastra Bridge is a beacon of education for all Apple. Thanks to you, the city has a massive power source that we can share with the region. Just make sure you keep it staffed with skilled workers. I'm proud of what you've accomplished together. Fast Trap Reach is destined for great things and now we have education to meet that. Hmm. Let's check the power. Don't we need... Oh, apparently we do not need water to add plop one of these. Maybe at some point we'll go nuclear. We'll have to see. Progress towards next upgrade. What kind of buildings can we do? A school of business raises high wealth value, okay. Get your student down to business when attended by students increase commercial profit across the city, okay. School of engineering, local access granted to Hasman Garage and large fire engine. This is where you put the nerds when attended by students increase low and medium wealth industry profits across the city. School of Law, crackdown on crime when attended by students, uh, lowers rehabilitation time for incarcerated criminals in the city. When attended by students, reduce the chance for seem in the city to get sick. And tech science, don't get blinded by it when attended by students, increase the high-tech industry profit of the area. Okay, so that's pretty good for industry of all kinds. I guess I'll place maybe two more dormitories here provides us with students from the start and I want to get those hazmat 
Great road to increase density. Definitely, we'll do that. High density here, high density here. Look at this business. In the city that I live in, there are some industries that look exactly like this. Not many. Don't uh, think that there are too many. And mostly, I guess for my area, mostly are this medium type. More manufacturing. But there are a few who that look high tech. Let's make these roads better. Okay. I should probably, for the sake of traffic, I should definitely go high density on this one. I like that the roads are at least oh, only one time upgrade. You don't need to do too many, too much work. It doesn't require maintenance. Which works for this game, not for something that you expect more from reality. Let's see, what do they want? You want an academy, sure. We're gonna go that way as well. Gonna be part of our goal. These roads don't seem to be at the highest level, so let's go high density. Give a chance for these uh, richer areas to grow. I should probably be placing more. More buildings like so. Look down on the world from your penthouse apartment atop the city's very first luxury high-rise. Nice. Let's see, what do they want here? Mayor, you seem to know what you're doing, but just how physically talented are you? I'll tell you what, increase your mega tower profits and I'll give you a small gift. Just a hint, you'll need to keep apartment level residents satisfied, satisfied, malls full of shoppers and offices full of workers will increase your profits. Yeah. Maybe so, but I feel like we have plenty of people. I would go with another level of these. How much does it cost? 24,000? We have 29,000. For 29,000. Yeah, let's go one more level on the medium. How's traffic here? Okay, it's not as bad. This went full level there. What do they want? Recycling? The d we want to throw a giant block party all night, man. We may toss out a bit of garbage during the party, but you don't mind, do you? It will generate garbage. Sure, let's do it. Let's see how hard can it be. And it might be very difficult. We'll, we'll have to see. Okay. 1100 drivers, uh, drivers, riders. Let's add another free buses here. These are upgrading as well. Medium wealth businesses could be required. We spent a bit more time in this zone, so it's growing higher than the other one, but we're very close to making that happen as well. Buses, 49 minute wait. Okay, so adding three extra buses, that is a good choice there. I think it's also about time we work 14,000, we work on the academy. So this will provide us with how much? Plop on Academy is going to give us 20,000. If I'm going to take a look at the Academy, it costs 25,000. So it gives us back most of the money. Increase the tech level of nearby industrial buildings, raises high wealth land value, and max control net transmission rate 105 or 
10,500 control net. Okay. When we're doing this let's plays, I'm always doing things that I wouldn't generally do. So for example, for SimCity, we are gonna sell these entire areas to Omega Co. That is our goal in, in this playthrough. And so I'm really curious to see how this will work out. I wouldn't do this on my own. When I would play it on my own, I would definitely want everything to be green and nice and lovely and everybody's uh, playing it peacefully and happily. But I am really looking forward to our next step into this Let's Play where we start making them Omega Co. For the moment, I hope you have enjoyed it. This is all the time that we have for this episode, but look what a beautiful city we have managed to construct. Now, if you enjoy the series, provide likes to the episodes. It does help the channel grow, so that is something that you're helping me with. If you want to keep in touch, you already know that you can subscribe. And you have, if you have any thoughts on the game or other city building games that would be cool, let me know down in the comments below or via email. So that's it for today. I wish you all a beautiful day.